the mood. feeding Kevin a lot of lettuce lately. I think he needs something more than just lettuce. I think we're gonna make dilly beans. You know I've been talking about the weatherman saying that falls on its way. Well guess what? Woke up this morning I think we got down to 65 degrees and it was actually nice out. We've had a beautiful day here and um, we're so thankful. I think I got up to maybe 80, 82 today. But at any rate, I'm thankful and I did believe the weatherman, so there you go. Well, I've really gotten into this fermenting thing and um, the kit that I have with the lids is the Easy Fermenter. So I've just been using their recipes. I thought, a good place to start. So dilly beans was one of the things that they, they have in here. With, it's made with green beans. So again, I don't have any green beans in the garden right now, and I um, just went to the store, got some organic green beans. So we're going to go ahead and grab those and wash them in some filtered water and cut the ends off. Calls for a um, 16 ounces of beans. They had a 12 ounce bag, so I have a few extra here. I'm going to see if that might fill my jar. Got the green beans washed. Used our Berkey filtered water for that. I did notice that were some that didn't look real fresh, so I'll probably be picking through those a little bit because you always want to use the freshest, uh, no matter what you're fermenting, it needs to be fresh. No bad marks or soft spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tips off of them and kind of pick through them for any uh, soft spots. Alrighty, we got those green beans, all the tips cut off, and I went ahead and got rid of some that were kind of soft. And now it calls for four cloves of garlic uh, with the skins peeled off and smashed. So that's what we'll do. check our directions here see what needs to go in first dilly beans all right we're gonna go ahead and put the spices in the jar first so we'll put our garlic cloves in there it calls for a tablespoon of crushed red pepper however it says or to taste and that sounds like a lot of heat to me. I'm not that brave. So we're just gonna do a teaspoon, which still sounds like a lot to me. Add in. It 
calls for fresh dill, which I do not have. I have some in the garden, but it's not enough. It's just starting, so we're just going to use um, dried dill weed. So we're going to do a tablespoon of that. Mmm. I think these might be some spicy dilly beans. And calls for one teaspoon of peppercorns, black peppercorns. We have a theme of spice going on here. I'm not as scared. Kevin likes spicy things. Before we got started earlier today, I went ahead and made the brine. I used a quart, no, I, yes, I used a quart of water, Berkey distilled water, to two tablespoons of pink Himalayan sea salt, which is what I have over here. Heated the water up and then um, just mixed it around till all the salt dissolved. So that's already cooled, all ready for us. So we'll go ahead and put the green beans in the, this, this is a quart um, ball jar as well. See if we can make them stand up in here nicely. My doggies heard me chopping up the green beans. They came running. I didn't give them any yet, but they'll be patient till we're done here. vegetable soup this morning for our chilly day and boy they went crazy with all the chopping that went into that with all the vegetables. I found if I put the vegetables in these jars tightly it helps them all stay down and not float. We still have our carrots and our cabbage fermenting in the closet. should be done soon. We'll probably check those again tomorrow, give them a little taste test. Oh, I hear those doggies playing with their squeak toys. They're like kids. Seems like at nighttime, at bedtime, Charlotte always goes and grabs her favorite squeak toy and goes to town squeaking, squeaking, squeaking. Like her teddy bear, I guess. I had mentioned to you guys that kombucha was my next project. I was going to make the SCOBY, which is the starter for it. But after watching some YouTube videos that look kind of scary, the ones that went kind of wrong, and because it takes about a month, we went ahead and ordered one on Etsy. So that should be coming any day. We're ready to get going on that adventure. going to do it, which is okay. So now we got our spices in the bottom and our green beans all tightly packed in. 
And now we're gonna put the brine on. This is the water and salt that we had heated earlier. Pour it over, make sure it completely covers. And we'll give it about an inch headspace. Looks like they're all covered. You wanna make sure all the vegetables are always covered with brine or you're gonna get some mold action happening. So we have a little weight here. I don't think we need it, but I have it, and I wouldn't mind making sure everything stays cozied in there. So put that in there. And I have my easy fermenter lid here. They should be paying me for this, because I just love them. Um, have the date on it. So that way I know when we started this ferment. This one's pretty quick. It said three to seven days, so. We'll check it maybe in five days. I didn't wipe off that top. Let's do that. I did clean everything, the cutting board and all my utensils and whatnot really, really well. Washed my hands before we started this. Very important that we keep things pretty clean and germ free. It would be very disappointing have our ferment go awry. So far we've been, had a good track. So there we go, completely covered with brine. You don't have to burp it with these lids, um, unlike a regular canning jar lid, so, which is really, really nice. So, so there we go, we're making dilly beans. They ought to be scrumptious. And I'm really excited about um, letting you guys watch our journey of fermenting um, kombucha. So that's next on the to-do list. So glad you guys could come along on this journey. I hope it inspires you guys to get out there and uh, grow some food and maybe even ferment some food. Salsi.